hey guys welcome to my space my channel um, it's good to see you guys again and today I'll be talking about it's beyond masturbation like let's talk about masturbation in the sense of it what it really entails and why it's more than just self gratification it's more than just making yourself happy and the way like um, all those health journals would put it like oh masturbation is good you help promotes this and this and so hormones and these hormones and that and that like you're talking about the benefits of it but it has an adverse effect it's not the way god intended for us to enjoy ourselves and find pleasure in sex like he enjoy god's plan was for us to be able to get married and have sex and enjoy it that way but masturbation does something way more but first of all let's just go first into scripture matthew chapter 5 verse 48 be ye perfect as it, uh, even as your father in heaven which is i mean even as your father which is in heaven is perfect like god is asking us to be perfect so why would jesus sorry jesus says, was asking us to be perfect why would jesus ask us to be as perfect as god is perfect like what does that entail but what i feel is god has set a sta- jesus has set a standard and is expecting us that hey we should walk walk the broken road we should work from doubt to faith and i know that eventually we can be perfect and trust the fact that if we hold on to the holy spirit that he has sent to us we can eventually obey god's plan for us we can do the things god wants us to do so yeah like it's taken from matthew 5 verse 48 so let's go to yad i mean there's something about sex when someone has sex with uh, another person it's called there's an intimacy it's called yada it's a form of worship like to know to know like when um in in king james version when someone has sex with your wife they will always say he knew his wife abraham knew sarah um joseph knew his wife and things like that in several places it's to know yada and that phrase is yada means to know and it's also known as a way to know god it's a form of worship like to know god we were created to worship that's that's one thing about we as 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 human beings is we worship one thing or the other if you're not worshiping your phone your job or anything sometimes people just worship sex some people sometimes people worship their bellies their bellies their god like in new testament so people will find a way to worship whatever it is we we'll always find somebody who dedicate our lives to worship so having sex i mean having masturbation is a way of worshiping yourself like you feel yourself needs gratification yourself needs to be it's way important yourself needs to be honored and respected and all that kind of fun and all that kind of like f- fun stuff we put in our minds it begins to um affect you and it's not healthy because you cannot whatever we worship is meant to save you so if we worship god he saves us he protects us he guides us when we worship ourselves like it's not strong enough like we can't save ourselves just we we are attacked on so many sides and only god can protect and work and keep us safe so doing that doesn't help at all so having sex with yourself i was watching this um story about two girls talking about it's a youtube talking about their roads to like salvation and all that like someone said it's a form of homosexuality like it's a form of like because you're having sex with yourself like you begin to there's nothing wrong between someone as the same sex as you doing it for you in other words like i'm trying to explain in that way but it's almost it's also a form of homosexuality because you're pleasing yourself so masturbation just opens it opens a door to a whole lot kind of evil every single in every single form in every single place in every single i can take it to any trajectory like it's terrible so especially like with masturbation one of the things that foils it is porn and with porn one thing I've heard from people who are addicted to porn is once you like a certain porn, you begin to like 
you begin to fall in love with other kinds of porn like oh they first of all they watch the regular one then as they go on they begin to watch other kinds of porn where um, a woman does this a mother and son father and daughter schoolgirl and teacher you know it begins to change it begins to uh, a, a, a priest and a nun like it begins to morph and people begin to like yes they watch all kinds of porn and watch all kinds of things and they begin to go all the way to watching child, child like child pornography like it's people don't crave those things in the beginning then it just begins to go they, they go spiral they begin to spiral down that road and it's a terrible thing and if you get into porn you're also encouraging women trafficking like um human trafficking actually like you begin to push people i mean where women actually if they don't have sex in front of a camera they are killed so that's another thing and that's a big big sin contributing to that industry um so it affects intimacy as well because you're training your mind to find satisfaction and gratification from having sex like you're you're, you're training your mind in such a way that hey this is the way i can only be pleased this is the only way i can only enjoy this pleasure because sex a form of worship so when um we worship god and if you ever had deep sense of worship with god it's so good it's so nice to be known to be loved to get that reassurance back and forth from god like whoa like he loves you so god now gave us sex to to be able to get that kind of intimacy something similar it's not it's not equivalent to what we have in the place of worship but it's something similar that we can get when we are intimate when we have sex is oh like let's have this passion exchange both of us are having this passionate exchange and we begin to find this bond this love this convenient love between each other and once masturbation is a part of someone it's a regular thing it's a norm we begin to we begin to um it begins to become a form of like hey I don't need another person to enjoy this. I can do it by myself. And when such people fall into, happen to fall in love and get married, they begin to find out that being with the other person, the opposite sex, is not just enough. I need to go take care of myself in the bathroom. I need to get that strong passion, that strong love, that strong, that strong um, intimacy and pleasure from their self from themselves so it affects it it's something you're meant to enjoy and one of the i remember watching there was this girl talking about her story she says she must have been with herself so much like it was so intense that when she had sex for the first time her boyfriend actually said that's not your first time that this is not your first time but the girl was so disappointed. She says, no, this is my first time. She says, no, this is, you don't, it doesn't feel like that. Because it has been clogged. That, that reality has been clogged. That, that intimacy, that pleasure between you and your spouse has been destroyed or damaged or faltered, counterfeit. Like, it's just between you and yourself. And it just affects it in such a way that, yeah, it's dangerous. And I am because the intimacy we share the intimacy married people share it's meant to give them an everlasting bond it's meant to give them a strong bond and tie that yes so you love each other we have love languages we have other ways of expressing love but as sex helps it it creates a nice bond man i love this man man i love this woman like it creates a strong nice bond that helps with life i want as the Christian says, once the found as uh, in the Bible says, once the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? So once we begin to destroy that intimacy, it begins to affect the marriage, and it just it can lead to broken homes as well. Um, so intimacy affects community. 
so one of the things about i mean as intimacy masturbation affects community one of the things you learn is that when you when people masturbate is like i can do this by myself why do i need a boyfriend or why do i need a girlfriend like why do i need the opposite sex in my own life like that's who who needs that that i can do it all by myself excuse me so who needs that and if i don't need because we as humans at are made to depend on one another for help. We're made, to, we're made to depend on one another and we're also made to be there for other people. So when we begin to learn that I can gratify myself by myself, I don't need any other person. Like, who cares? I can raise a child all by myself. I don't need the other person. It begins to change your mindset and falters your, like there's a fall in your mind and thinking I am, I can be by myself. And one, you can be also, you can be there for other people too. Like, you don't, since I can be there by myself, I don't need to be there for you. And once you begin to live a life of be doing it all by yourself, there's a day you're going to hit the roadblock or places where you're depressed. It leads to depression because there's no community to share and exchange your heart, share, exchange emotions, you know, experiences, because those things help with life. Because when you think all by myself, all by myself leads to depression, you may also be suicidal. You, and those kind of things are really, really bad. But cause when you're in a community, everyone holds each other up. Like, I can't do it by myself. I can't be happy all the time by myself. You need community where someone just cracks a joke, comforts you, prays with you. So it just affects your sense of community. Like, I can be all by myself. So I encourage us to um, take some time take some time to to reflect on these things and pray about it and be like man i have to stop this i think that's the first road to deliverance knowing that you have to stop this um so community is important you can't be all by yourself so masturbation is not healthy in any way it's not healthy. Don't let the doctors fool you. I always say one thing. I say God made us and he knows what we need. So d listen to a, the, a sermon or a truth preached from the world and saying, oh, you need it to, or it can, you can get cancer, you can get this, you can get that. Even let's assume that you don't have orgasms or satisfaction at all before you get married and something is not leading to your death. I'm like, if that's your own kind of persecution, what's the big deal about it? Like our life here is just for a moment. Eternity is where the real thing is. Like we focus too much on ourselves that we begin to satisfy ourselves and it's just leading down the road of destruction. Okay. So living for God, Jesus said one thing. He says, for those of us who um, lose our lives, like we lose, we don't count anything of our lives important. We end up finding ourselves. Like once we put God first and every single thing about ourselves is destroyed and we put ourselves on a pedestal where, oh, it's I decide to choose Jesus over everything, then self-gratification, we end up finding ourselves. But when we put ourselves first, like, oh, no, it's all about me. It's all about finding myself self and taking care of myself. And I do me, you do you. We end up being in a spot where we end up losing ourselves to depression we, we we end up not even finding ourselves at the end of the day it leads to death um another thing it does is that uh, and i feel one of the temptations about because i feel like everyone is dealing with this temptation and it's like um it's a struggle and all that and i feel god puts us in a fight to walk the broken road so we can win sometimes you know when god sets a temptation before you or a, some a, a fight that you have to win it's like because he's he wants you to fight bigger f battles there are other kinds of battles and one of the things about fighting your own battles is so you can help other fallen christians around you so that really helps a lot so god has put you in a fight like once you 
masturbation and you're fighting and you're fighting it and you're fighting your fleshy desires and all that kind of stuff at the end of the day when you win god recognizes it and he blesses you he takes good care of you he encourages you he holds your hand up high so i just want us to um pay attention to that um another thing is that masturbation is not healthy in the sense of it actually affects your sex organ like your sex organ is meant to function in a certain way the fact that you do not have you do not masturbate or have sex before marriage is a way that you're keeping yourself that you're keeping your sex organ to be like okay um this is when i'm going to start using it in marriage this is i'm going to be using it when i'm intimate but once you're masturbating and masturbating and doing that he wears it out like you begin to actually it's medically proven like some people actually endanger themselves with overuse of it and like it damages you it ruins your self-esteem when you begin to feel like oh my gosh like something is wrong i have to go to the doctor because once you now begin to have sex or you fall in love and get married you begin to realize something's wrong down there this and this is going on so it's not a toy it's not a machine it's a sex organ it's a human body part and once something's overused there's a problem it needs to be fixed or there may be permanent damage where you just and god can heal you just got to see god and heal so like i said it affects emotional intimacy when um with your sex organ being damaged or being conditional or trained to always be gratified always all the time and it's been stretched once people have sex it's different that's why have you noticed a lot of people complain about not being satisfied like it's a complaint like i'm not satisfied i'm not satisfied like fornication and masturbation has as giving you an unlimited amount of how much you can be pleased so when you are now in love and you have to deal with just one person you're not like i can't be satisfied usually when there is a restraint and you train yourself to only have this amount of satisfaction that ends up being enough that ends up helping us to be like oh this is enough i mean like just having sex with this person is just enough okay uh running out of time here um so that's basically i want to read proverbs chapter 24 verse 16 for a just man fall at seven times and rise up again but the wicked shall fall into mischief so like Proverbs 24 verse 16 says we as christians sometimes we fall and fall and fall but we can always rise again um i have different videos on my channel that talks about how to reduce love for fornication and masturbation but one of the things that helps especially like it, it starts with your thoughts so this past week i've noticed that my thoughts have been a little bit more clearer i'm not always having to pray a lot about certain things or i'm not craving it or being horny it's like one of the things was for the past one it's been a thing i've done in the past but sometimes i just try and watch other entertainment to just like know what's going on out there but i tried last week i mean this week no actually last week anything everything i watched was just christian 90 percent of a christian the other 10 percent was like it was strictly plain there was no subliminal languages in there where they were trying to encourage us to have sex every single thing was just plain pure righteous it was educational my mind was different i deleted all my social media from my phone except for when i just want to check the headlines on twitter and i make sure my timeline my tl is like so clean there's no one is doing anything immoral or impure on my tl so like that really helped my mind was really focused on god my mind was really focused on what was righteous and pure i did not have those weird thoughts pop into my head so that's one of the ways but i'll just pray with us dear lord we thank you for today we thank you for your goodness and your mercy every one of us we are on this road to um holiness to truth to righteousness and lord i'm praying for every single person that you give us the grace and the strength oh lord to um trust you with our lives to win this battle of 
temptation and sexual temptation fornication masturbation give us the grace oh lord give us the ability to win this fight that we would not lose this fight we would trust you our god to heal us to perfect our healing i know that we would never will never fall again but we would always be righteous we will always be holy we will always be pure we will make the right decisions oh lord your holy spirit will be made manifest in our lives in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen God bless you guys. Please share, subscribe, and connect with me on other social media platforms. I love you all. God bless. Bye.